everybody, welcome to Better Radio, episode 16. I'm Brian, and I'm joined by Liam. I'm Liam. How's it going? And our two guests, Dylan. Yes, that's me. I don't. Which camera am I looking at? That one. Uh, and Ben. There are cameras in here. So what we? <laughs> Liam's like, this. What are we, are we recording a podcast? This is nuts. This is nuts. Um, so what we're doing this episode, similar to what we did with the Alex and Jenny episodes, we're doing a two-parter where the first one is going to focus on one guest and the second is going to focus on the other. And so this episode is focusing on Dylan. Yes. He's a featured guest. Yeah, things are going to get real dark. Real dark. Right. Right. So, is that a New England sports hoodie? Sure is. Wow. Yes. In these parts. I know. <laughs> wow. I th- like, I think I'm just surprised that you let this happen. It's interesting. It's brave. Well, that's Enemy just territory. To the quality the person that Dylan is. Yeah. That can look past. No, I love winning. Difference. Love cheating to win. <laughs> Those balls were, were, were at perfect PSI. They were. I love Brady. Absolutely. So, Dylan. My, my, my fantasy team name is uh, Brady Can Clap My Cheese. <laughs> interesting. Yes. Hmm. Um, so, Dylan is the main host. Um, and I'm the co-host. Uh, I, I would not call me, I would not call me the main host. I, I think you're the main host. I mean, this this idea for that show was your idea. So if, if you want to take the beta role to it, then I'll yeah, sure. I'm definitely the beta on probably most podcasts I'm on. Quite frankly, most definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, Dylan, you're the host of Wicked Good Show. I am. Can you tell us a little bit about what that podcast is for the people who maybe have not checked it out? So I I don't know if you want me to go through the whole history. So uh, it's. It's our, it, at first it was really a pop culture podcast that was mm-hmm. originally called Brian and Dylan Take on the World. Yes. That was a name that randomly just came to me one day. Mm-hmm. And Brian and I had always talked about doing some sort of podcasting together because I was, when Brian and I first worked together, mm-hmm. I was exposed to his Things We May Have Tried series. <laughs> oh, which, God, that's not where I thought that <laughs> sentence was going. Uh, <laughs> I think exposed is the only word that can yes. be accurate for seeing no, that he, series. Yeah, he showed me his dick after. <laughs> And then that's part of the full experience of the team of chat. Yeah, and then one day I was invited on to review The Last Jedi. Yes. Which was one of the most uncomfortable experiences that I've ever had. <laughs> Tense, I bet. Um, I basically had a couple fight on the show. Yeah, two people who are no longer with the channel. Yes. Um, won't name names, but if you've been with us for a while, you know. Yeah. They got into a giant argument in the middle of a. Uh, those fake nerds at the time was yeah. the show about. I don't even know if it was about the movie, quite frankly. No, someone said a joke and the other person didn't like the joke, and then um, about uh, fifteen minutes went by of, mm-hmm. of that. And then so we're like, yeah, at that point I'm like, so Dylan's not ever going to talk to me again. No, so yeah, at this point Brian and I have no longer worked together, so mm-hmm. I'm like, fuck that. And then <laughs> I had this epiphany, you know, let's not do a show with them. Let's do a show just <laughs> us. And not have that ever happen again. Mm. So we got together and I created a poster on some free website that I signed up for a free trial for. And it was a ridiculous poster. I like it a lot. It's a very 80s style. Yes. I did it in like five minutes to kind of show uh, how much, how seriously I was taking it at first. Mm. And then we did Black Panther, which was, I, I'll stand by it. Almost as bad as oh. that Star Wars one. Yo, go fuck yourself. No, no, not, not the quality of the no, movie. No, not the, the movie. Our Last podcast. Jedi is terrible. Oh, no, 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 no. The podcast was I know, my as dear. Just, yeah, yeah. No, don't. I can't have a Black, Black Panther crowd come down on me. Yeah. Um, wow. I think I gave that movie like a 90 out of 100. Mm. Um, wow. I did exactly that. I said, um, I, I didn't know what to do. I think I stuttered. Uh, we had, I, I have a daughter, I had her monitor in the background on because she was sleeping and it, mm. it caused interference in, in the show. And <laughs> we created a show template for that that I thought we were going to use for every show. We mm. never used it again, how we scored movies. And then right. it's completely just AWOL now. Brian does 0 to 10, I do 0 to 100, or now I do 5 stars. Um, and then we, after that, did Ready Player One, which I thought was good. Mm-hmm. And then Brian lost the recording for it oh, yeah. while we bad. recorded it. We had mm. to re-record. And oh, yeah, that was OBS's fault. Yes. Let's be clear. What is OBS? Uh, it's one of the... Pri- it's this camera. It's what I'm filming on it. So OBS has a glitch that if you record straight to MP4, sometimes it will just corrupt the file. That's good. Which is really fun and really great. Yeah. I didn't know that at the time. So now I record to a different um, video file and then convert it to MP4 later so I don't lose it. 
So that's what happened. With that. I'll, I'll always stand. I'll always stand by that. That was our best podcast. Because <laughs> it's lost. Yes, I, I, I was really on that day. Mm-hmm. No one can prove otherwise. Make sure I didn't say um or anything like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then after that, we took a little bit of a hiatus. We did uh, after doing a few episodes, and then now we've been back and we've done one pretty much mm-hmm. every week except for the hiatus. We just went on for two weeks. Yeah. So we uh, we covered solo. And then everyone hated us so much that we we hid hid from the internet for a while. Why did people hate you? No, no, just joking. People they hate Solo for some reason. They hate it. Yeah, I don't know why. I feel wow. like people have just been ambivalent to Solo. <laughs> I love I love I love Solo. I, I I thought it was good, better than Last Jedi. Very good. Last Jedi. Yeah. It's a low bar. Uh, no, but we've been back. We've been <sighs> doing, very low bar. Last pretty much Jedi doing. We we're covering video games, TV, mm. and then now we're kind of pretty much on straight movies. Where yeah. we're also going to be jumping into show recaps, which tomorrow. Uh, ben and Brian are going to be covering uh, Rick and Morty. Recaps. Hell yes. Yep. Very so excited. Oh. Yeah. So we're bringing Ben into the Wicked Good Show team to cover Rick and Morty. Yes. Yeah. And uh, that's going to be exciting. And yeah, Ben, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, sure. I uh, I like Rick and Morty, which is why I want to <laughs> cover it on the on the show. I'm pretty sure I I'm the one who introduced Brian to Rick and Morty. Yes. Yeah. So. You were definitely the one who was like, you have to watch it. You would like it. Like, yeah. It's Dan Harmon. You love community. Um, I I often say that Rick and Morty is the one show where people were like, it's really good. You'll like it. And the hype was actually like as real as people were hyping it up to me. Yeah. Because I watched it and I just binged the three seasons that were out at the time in like a week because it was just amazing and short, you know. It's a big time weed show. It really, for the stoner crowd, it's mm. it's, it's big. As someone uh, who I can attest, yeah, Rick and Morty was awesome. I, I binged it one day, like pretty much the entire season. I was mm. there for several So yeah, so I mean, so Ben and I, uh, we go way back in podcasting. We used mm-hmm. to cover the Amazing Race together. Oh boy, so, but yeah, <laughs> not well. I we we say. attempted to cover the Amazing Race. Yeah, we were part of another company, the previously on podcast network that mm-hmm. uh, is. No longer. R.I.P. Previously on Network. There's some good stuff coming out of them, but, uh, you know. Uh, I, our Amazing Race coverage got to the point where uh, I believe we spent uh, half of one episode mm-hmm. talking about uh, Nicarag- Survivor Nicaragua contestant Purple Kelly. Yeah, so that's how off yeah. track we got with, with that. I've, I've gotten a lot better at podcasting, I, I hope. Yeah. Anyways, but, uh, yeah, part of my dream with We Get Everything is to actually get it running and then we can hire Zach to be a part of it from afar. Yeah. Uh, I haven't talked to Zach in a while, but I think he'd be down. He He's seems, a great host. Every, like, month or two, I see him tweet something, and it seems yeah. to be positive. Yeah, so. so. Absolutely. So, like like I said, uh, this first episode is going to mostly focus on Dylan. I just didn't want to, like, no, that's fine. No, yeah. Yeah. Fine ben for me on the phone or anything. That's okay. <laughs> um, it's getting and, ready to get into the dark parts of my story. <laughs> So yeah, um, obviously what you show. So what did you think when I, like, kind of pitched the idea of you coming on as a part of Wicked Good Everything, you know? And and I guess my question here is, what's it like for people on the outside? Because I've been making videos, doing podcasts, all this shit for so long. I'm entranced. What's it like to be on the outside of that and then like join up? Because I would say doing this kind of stuff is not like a normal thing. Most no, people don't don't do this and I, don't like put this work into, you know. I think my first exposure stuff. to your videos and all that was I don't know if you had told me to watch or I had randomly seen it on Facebook mm-hmm. was you and Tamor's things we may have tried. Right. And I remember I watched the first episode and I I think I had watched either three or four or however many were out after that. And I was mm-hmm. like, this is pretty cool. And this is something I never so like kind of I guess background on me and Brian's friendship. Mm. I had worked at a place that I don't really wish to name. Yeah, and Brian we don't had need come, to name it. and it was my my responsibility to train him. Mm. And training went fine. I thought he was okay. Mm. And then, You're very kind, very honest. <laughs> and That's what's valuable. In I kinda, Thank you. We all know Brian's a very special. Boy. No, he's a good. He's a, he, he does try. He does. He does. <laughs> yeah, th- yeah, that's that's the best we can yeah, say. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The yeah. efforts there. It yeah. sure is. Uh, and I kind of just took you under my wing at that point. I don't know if that's the proper term, because mm. I wasn't really any any big wing there. I was <laughs> on the same level you were. I'd only been there several months before you. Mm. And and then Brian and I pretty much went on like a first date. We went mm. and right, saw. Right. This is where our friendship really took off. We really went and saw. 
Batman the Killing Joke. Yeah. Or it was, it was just, just the Killing Joke in theater. It was like a one night thing. Mm-hmm. We went, we got drinks at, what is that? Fridays? No, it's a... Uh, Ruby Tuesday. Ruby Tuesday, sure. A Ruby Tuesdays, I had a mojito. Mm-hmm. This is a pretty. Off this, screen, just the, like, fuck yeah. Uh, Ruby, Ruby Tuesday is incredibly underrated <laughs> chain Tuesdays. restaurant. In my opinion. sounds crazy. Oh, yeah. We, I, I had a mojito. Him and I were like the only people at the bar. Mm-hmm. And, and we went and sat in the theater. It was just him and I and like yep. five other people. And yeah. Yeah, and uh, I had not read The Killing Joke, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know you have, right? Like, oh, yeah. It's one of my favorite comics. Yeah. So or, when, sorry, graphic a, novels. My there's bad. There's a controversial scene, I guess, in that. A Batman and Batgirl fight. Yeah. yeah. Fucking, in the uh, movie? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I heard about this. I, I haven't seen the movie, but I've read the book. And to me, I was uh, just I like, think it's yeah, interesting. I get that. You know, two soldiers in war, pretty much, like, having a moment, sleeping mm. together. It's, it makes sense. But I hope they're wearing the outfits. But they are. They yeah. are? Yeah. Okay, that's sweet. Oh, yeah. That's fucking I think, sweet. I think like, you goddamn right. No, I just like, it was just because like, it's different if it's just two people, yeah. you know, but if it's no, know, I, bat people, fuck I thought it was weird getting a boner nuts. on a first date with Brian. Yeah, yeah. But, Hard. Yes. Honest yes. truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think like, he, Batman like took off his pants, but he's still on like the top. He barely sat on the couch. Batman fucks with the mask on for sure. Yes. 100%. Yep. Even it's actually a cowl. A cow, yeah. No, I believe it's a cow. <laughs> you know, you know, he keeps that on, and um, I don't know where I'm going with that, but yeah. So, well, he doesn't it. want people to know his identity, you know. Yeah, yeah. even when he's having sex with them the- consensually. They bang on a rooftop too. It's not like in bed. It's mm-hmm. they're on like a rooftop in Gotham. It may have been Jesus, a that is that, that's kind of so unsanitary, though. Oh, mm-hmm. well, it depends how well kept the rooftop is. Yeah. It's probably it like not. It's covered like, in bird shit. I'm like sorry. Like gravel and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. What an abang! I would have had the leather outfits on though. It could be just right. I don't yeah. Know. So people didn't like that. I thought it was fun. And then uh, the rest of the movie I made it. Was, I bet was good. The second half a little bit more emotionally invested. Yeah, I, I think that yeah. was part of the yeah. intention. Idea of, like the first okay. half of the movie being totally mostly original. about their for, like friendship and relationship, and then something really horrible happens to Batgirl in the second part of it. So yeah, yeah, yeah it's cool. Um, I All think right, that's talking joke. And yeah, I actually have a question. Do you guys, have you seen Killing Joker? I have already? not, no. Oh, all right. So I guess for you two, do you think Batman kills the Joker at the end of Killing Joke? We're just going to talk about it. Yeah, I I spoilers. So this has turned into the Killing Joke episode. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know. Uh, it was, it was, I, I didn't mind the ending, but it was also mm-hmm. very ambiguous. Uh, it's kind of like uh, Batman. I took it as Batman, just as crazy as the Joker is. Mm-hmm. So what, what do you think? I think it was just going for if he does or doesn't kill him, here things won't end until he does right. kill him in it so i think that's more what the uh, ambiguity was mm. intended for so right eventually I mean, right in the heart uh, yeah yes. eventually he wants eventually it's i think implied that he would kill him mm. yeah or, and ben sight unseen what do you think i mean why the fuck wouldn't he kill him right right yeah or someone else. Why doesn't Gordon come up and like, oh, you know, just fuck you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he has just reasons Brad to. Just Brad Pitt him to. like it. Yeah. In, uh, should I spoil another movie? If it was that Ben Affleck Batman who just what movie? shoots What movie? What movie? Uh, oh. <laughs> I mean, like, I don't know. I would have been, yeah, go for it. Do whatever you want. You'd be yeah, cool again. Like the ending is seven. Yeah. Brad Pitt just shoots the Joker right in the face. That's what Gordon should do. I feel like if you yeah. haven't seen seven at this point, you're, it, we're at a point culturally where you, you, probably are never going to see seven right yeah i agree yeah. it's a great movie it's a really good it is, movie. it is a good movie yeah you know what's wild again uh there's that scene with the guy mm. like the the killer right mm-hmm. um we spoiled it already so kevin spacey <laughs> right <laughs> is uh uh like in the hallway mm-hmm. and i was like i was watching with you and you yeah. were like oh this movie's sweet i think i, I totally looked over he's like yeah that's the killer i was just being an annoying like kid mm-hmm. and it's him in the hallway when you're not supposed to like have no, any reason yeah. yeah and then it ended up being kevin spacey and that was pretty sweet mm-hmm. i like kevin spacey i think he's a really good actor <laughs> i thought he was great i think he was fantastic well, he's been media blackout for the last year I guess. <laughs> no i mean guy, did you guys see the video of him like doing yeah. frank underwood in oh real for life? sure yes, that Christmas. was that was possibly one of the cringiest things i've seen in my so entire life i don't know cr- it was dark it just felt like i was like oh uh and i watched it and i was like he still got it that was like <laughs> super villainy thing I, i've ever seen yeah in my life. yeah it was sick my favorite tweet about it was uh it may have been the twitter trending moments and just uh kevin spacey ruins christmas 
<laughs> was it? It came out on Christmas. Yeah, that was what it was. Came out Christmas Day. Fucking Jesus. The, the Kevin Spacey thing. I don't know. So, uh, on a very selfish standpoint, I really mm-hmm. wanted House of Cards to end properly, mm-hmm. and I never got that. But at the same, how time, was the last season without? Talking? I did not watch it. Me neither. Because yeah. it's like it's a different show. I'm not. I have nothing against a woman being president. Right. Mm. No. I. I, I well, apparently I heard it was pretty interesting. I just. I. I did lose interest in just the whole thing once like. So I guess we'll go in the spoilers for that too. The, all, all I know is that at the very end of like the first episode, they reveal it. I think that I don't know if this mm-hmm. if this is how it exactly went, but at the very end, they reveal that he's dead. He died like a, a, I don't know, a plane crash, something like that. Yeah, it was it's like, was, oh um, man, Frank died and his penis got cut off. I was like, what? weird. Yeah. Oh, why'd you include that detail? I just weird that that happened. Just you know? necessary for plot. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Spacey is one of the. I think Kevin Spacey was the biggest person to go down in terms of. The Me Too movement. Uh, Harvey mm. Weinstein, like, who gives a fuck? Oh, I forgot about Harvey, Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein really. Bill yeah. Cosby. Oh, well, Bill Cosby was a little before, but uh, yeah, Bill Cosby's a pretty bad dude. I've heard him referred to as the. I haven't been able like, to put and pop big, white sons. <clears throat> the biggest serial rapists of modern history. It's like, damn, that's probably true. Yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. I mean, uh, maybe. maybe. He, he's, the, he's the biggest it's, one to have gotten exposed. Mm, yeah, sure. yeah. It's fucking just a crazy story. Like I don't know. The most like wholesome I mean, guy in America out of nowhere. Now he's now he's blind, fucking poking his way around the jail. I was mm-hmm. watching I was watching this documentary uh, called Comedian by Jerry. Oh, it's like stars Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, it's sweet. Yeah. It's really really good. It's like Jerry Seinfeld and then an unknown comedian. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It shows Jerry Seinfeld. Uh, he like retired all his material as soon as Seinfeld ended, mm-hmm. and it was it's him writing he no his first. Says what's the deal? Yeah, I think so. Uh, anyway, um, he. What's the deal with Bill Cosby? What's the deal? <laughs> yeah, 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 no, he said yeah, it's a lot of that, but um, you know, everyone loved it at the time, and mm-hmm. it's still timeless. So, uh, Jerry Seinfeld. Anyway, it shows him building his first new hour, mm-hmm. and then it shows his other comic like slowly getting success, and then yeah. it's juxtaposed to how one deals with success, and it's interesting. It's a really good documentary. But at one point, like the whole like towards the end of the movie, there's an mm-hmm. interview. With Jerry Seinfeld, was like one of my heroes, and it's Bill Cosby. Oh yeah, of course. And it's like a ten it's minute, a it's a ten minute sequence in the movie that I was watching, and I was just like, man, mm-hmm. man, 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 this is fucked up. Yeah, it's, a ton it's unfortunate. Of at that time, mm-hmm. were like huge Bill Cosby fans. You know? Yeah, yeah. The, the th- Apparently, there was still I don't know. They all probably knew. They were probably doing it, uh, doing it together on Epstein's plane. I mean, it's, yeah. But yeah, Epstein uh, didn't kill himself. <laughs> um, I got it. you. You cued me up for it, so that was pretty yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Bill Cosby. It seemed. From everything I've gathered that I've read like, podcasts I've listened to about it, he was like, he wasn't even like a, a well kept secret. It was a very open mm-hmm. secret in Hollywood that this dude was just drugging women and having sex with them. Yeah. And he was portrayed as like the most, it kind of, it really makes you think about Hollywood in general, which, especially after the Me Too movement, everybody mm-hmm. seems like a fucking piece of shit. Mm. It's, it's like, Scary. you're Definitely. more surprised when you hear about the good stories about people. Right. Which is like, yeah. that, that's, just a, that's a shitty world to live in. Mm. 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 No, no doubt. I mean, Thank God we're not famous. Yeah, how many how many good people do you think you think it's uh what's the over under like four and a half good people in Hollywood? Yeah, I mean you'd like to believe like Keanu Reeves is a good person. I guess Tom, like, Hanks. Tom Hanks. Give yeah, it time. give it time. My my follow up question would be like who who would be the most shocking to find out he's just a scumbag? It doesn't have to be part of like the Me Too just to find out he's like he's been he's been getting kids from like Indonesia to come. Mm. Come work around his house, and he—I don't want. I don't. Wanna, I don't know, at this point, the at this point, Kevin Spacey. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, you also were doing that. You're irredeemable completely. Jesus Christ! No, I think Tom Hanks would be the surprise. One. Tom Hanks would be a yeah. big one because he. Just, I don't know, dude. His kids are fucked up. Tom Hanks, Hanks is on the sitcom. Yeah. Okay, that's that's and, definitely who I was talking about. That's definitely okay. who I was talking and his about. His other son grew up. In the 90s and early 2000s, and is a white rapper. So we've what? all been there. So like I all know. of us who grew up around that time have mm-hmm. been there. I have no knowledge of the other son. You're have, have you heard of Snow? Chad. <laughs> Chad Hanks. I don't know it's if it's Chad, Chad Hanks. Hanks. Isn't it Chad Hayes? Yeah, it's Chad Chetty Hayes. Hayes. Chetty Hayes. Yeah, look into it. It's fucked Chetty up. Chetty Hayes. Yeah, it's wild. It's a pretty crazy, pretty yeah, crazy he's thing. A, he's a rapper. Yeah, have you ever had like, yeah. just a few hours to kill on the dark parts of the internet? Chetty <laughs> Hayes. Okay. Mm, Watch yeah. his YouTube channel. All right, I can't. I All can't I'm saying is out. he's he's got to have some We're gonna have compensation. We're going to have him play us out of this yeah. episode. <laughs> uh, back at home, you know, he's got to free his mind, probably. And yeah. Take some Indonesian children to listen, do that. Listen, Eminem, 
is obviously one of the best like artists of his time. But he inspired a lot of white people to make a lot of regretful decisions. Mm. That guy? Oh, yeah. yeah that's a that's lot of bad fashion, a lot of bad attempts at rap. Yeah. Uh, you know, he, he it's just not good. He's uh, lightning in a bottle, but then mm-hmm. like every white person was yeah. like, oh, I can do that too. He gave a lot of people a lot of confidence. I don't know, guys. Deserve. I think Macklemore is the greatest rapper of all time. Speaking I mean, of I mean, people, Eminem. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's what <laughs> Brian I was. and I saw Malcolm were alive. Yeah, we did. So. It was, did you really? It was yeah. Great. Wow, you got wow. Good. You guys are good. admitting that publicly. That's great. He was fun. Well, we we, was we, we didn't go for Malcolm Moore. We went for Kesha. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he was ten. He thought he was gay. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. I don't know if that's how that song went. I'm really happy that um, the world caught up to my feelings on Kesha because I've loved Kesha from day fucking one, and mm-hmm. I took. So much shit for being a Kesha fan. Like Kesha's my pick. A lot of it for me. If we find out, yeah. we find out Kesha was in the Indonesian kids getting mm, taken that'd over. Be here, sad. That'd be a big hit to yeah. me and my family, yeah. You think so? Kesha? Ryan, you can attest. Mm-hmm. I've been a Kesha stan since day one. Yeah. <laughs> that was a disappointment, yeah. If mm-hmm. you didn't get picked up on the So I'm happy that finally people realize that she's very talented. It's brave that you're doing this, Brian. Mm-hmm. I know. It's gonna be good for a lot of people out there. <laughs> I mean, I, <laughs> you saw how it went from the Killing Joke and, and getting boners in the theater to mm. Kevin Spacey and Kesha. Yeah. yeah, that's just how uh, better radio that's rolls, how better radio you know. Radio. How is this? Uh, this this is cider delicious. is very good. Where is it from? This is not a sponsor, but Storm Along Mass Appeal. Dylan brought this mm-hmm. for us. Yes, yes. It's delicious. And Dylan, where's it? Where's it made? So I don't know what the other one. It's Sherburn and Lemonster Mass. Okay. I sent the text before here that these were all quote unquote local. Mm-hmm. So I guess uh, we're, we're, I don't know where Sherburn. The Lemonster. Uh, yeah, I don't know where Sherman is. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'm a third of the way in and I am pretty much trashed. So. <laughs> I have another one. I think oh, that boy. says more about you than yeah, it yeah. does. No, no, just completely destroy it. I I'm want Ben's episode to get really, just really wacky. Polygons <laughs> everywhere. That's all I'm seeing. No, I, I really like it a lot. No, no and then progression. Once again, we're just doing free ads today. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, me and Brian talked about it on our podcast. We, we purposely don't take it in any ads. Right. But they're, so they're sitting there. But progression, no, it's in Northampton, Mass. My uh, cousin, shout out Chase McNamp, he's, he's a brewer there and seems like they're growing. Yeah, so buy it. Yes. If you're in the Massachusetts area. In considering visit. I'm sure you get it imported as well. Was that? Sure, you can get it imported as right. well. Yeah. I'm a uh, ask I'm, your liquor store, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. going to see the last podcast on the left in Northampton. So I'm gonna go there. Oh, very fun. It's nice. literally the, it's you're it's, going to see them. Oh, yeah. You see a podcast, Jordan, in like a podcast line. Oh Dylan boy! Has oh, show, he's got a T-shirt to on. The camera. There we go. No, it, this it's, I guess got to jump back to me and Brian. Mm-hmm. Um, this is really probably like the first podcast that helped us. Yeah, we bonded similar over interests. It. Yeah. Oh. Uh, when we worked together, I, I, I was we were basically binging it at the same time. Okay. Um, it's so good. good. Got us into yeah. super into like the occult and murder mm-hmm. and just all that fucked up shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I definitely um, growing up, I would watch like Forensic Files and like Unsolved Mysteries, and I remember hearing my parents having a conversation about it once. And Brian like really likes Forensic Files. I should we watch out about that? <laughs> when I was a kid, I, I would watch it like that too. Mm. I always had this minute. Like I was always convinced that uh, Bin Laden was like hiding in my closet. Yeah, that mm. was like my. He was my boogeyman when I was a kid. It was his face. He I, was a lot of people's <laughs> boogeyman. <laughs> every, generation. Every every night before I went to bed, I'm like, I need to check my closet and make sure Bin Laden wasn't hiding. Yeah. Really? Oh, I'm being like dead serious. Did you have a weapon wow. just in case he was? Sure, did not. My my, my weapon was the U.S. government. <laughs> That was wow, Jesus! I, I mean, it worked out in the end, right? And in, in my house, in our basement, we had like, we had this wall, and then you go into the other part of the basement, but it would be like some cave behind it. Mm-hmm. And I would, I remember seeing the footage of Bin Laden in a cave. I'm like, yeah. fuck, this is so where he, he actually is. Like, <laughs> it's like, a cave. This is where he house. actually <laughs> is. <laughs> For like a solid. Ten years up until 2011 when he was killed. I'm pretty sure he was in. The wow! Did you wake up that morning and be like, "Oh my god"? Yeah. Oh my god! It's over. Like yeah. the CIA video pans to the side. They yeah. see a stairmaster with, yeah. with like a blanket thrown yeah. over it. Yeah, blood, all, blood everywhere. Yeah. Just like, if I had friends over, I just gave him a fair warning. Like, the, yeah. the leader of Al Qaeda and, and the mastermind of 9/11 might be. In this, listen, this listen. It was like uh, you're crazy, dude. You open up like a back room. It's like a uh, like a cork board with a bunch of fucking like. <laughs> It's like, yo, there's all these clips. They look exactly like my basement. What yeah. the fuck's that about? You explain that to me. That it was a very, very real fear I had when I was a kid. It's understandable. Yeah. Wow. Well, where did it come? Like, where? Wow. All right. That's just. It came from 9-11. No, really? Yeah. You were just like, 
Where did it come from? Probably when a foreign terrorist group destroyed two buildings in New York. Liam, Liam do you know the Twin Towers? <laughs> I do, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm aware. I just, I just don't understand like how the, the thought that guy. What is he now? Just hanging the, out. The cave looked like his basement. Yeah, but now you're it's just a pretty. And I was just, through line. What sounds stupid? Are you having a fictional boogeyman in your closet, or mm-hmm. having a real life Osama bin Laden in your closet? That is, that's What's fair. Yeah. Having the real life Osama bin Laden. I don't know. I do what? not know. <laughs> I mean, look, the bo- the boogeyman is a is a you know hypothetical, right? Yeah. Uh, bin, Laden's bin Laden's a known quantity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Eventually, we got him. Yeah. That's, that's what Supposedly. they did it. That's what they did it for. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, USA. I, <laughs> as, you, as you can tell, though, if you saw Zero Dark Thirty, there was no scenes in my basement. Unfortunately, they could have saved a lot well, of Well, because they wanted to keep film. the official story under wraps. Mm-hmm. You know, Hollywood, that's what they do, right? <laughs> I heard they took a ton of photos. <laughs> I heard they have hundreds of them. Just that, like they trade them like Who, baseball uh, cards. Jessica Chastain? Uh, I don't know, the people who uh, took out the guy. Oh, okay. I heard they have a ton of photos and they sell them online uh, to each other. Uh, sure. uh, bin Laden, bin Laden, yeah. Laden. yeah they sure did a lot. Dark Net, you, you'll find a lot of photos from organizations like that mm-hmm. on there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see Trump talking about when they killed the ISIS leader. Mm-hmm. Al Baghdadi, which is like a what a he, name. He died like a dog. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it was really over the top. It was weird. Yeah, it was interesting. Also, I, I would have expected them. or wanted Loved anything it. else from Trump. Yeah, honestly. yeah, no, that's fair. That's the time was great too. Mm. Mm. You know, this now. You know, let's go get him now. Yeah, I'm about to get impeached. Let's at least let's pull the trigger on this. They're gonna impeach the guy who sent the order to kill mm-hmm. him like a dog, because I don't think so. Is he just gonna say that all the time whenever it's like Albert Dottie, like a dog? Like- yeah, like a dog. Uh, yeah. That's great. There was a uh, didn't the honor the dog that helped take him out? No, that was a meme. That's what I, uh, I didn't know if that was a meme or not. Yeah, it's, it's hard. It's hard to tell. It anymore. was 100. percent I don't yeah. know if anything's real on the yeah. internet anymore. Yeah. Hey, I mean. I'm not going to be against Trump killing ISIS leaders. Mm-hmm. No, I, I what a brave uh, fence to yes. stand on. There. <laughs> <Thank you. coughs> I, I'm pro the U.S. government killing ISIS. Mm. That's those. I think we need more information. <laughs> not the pro of this. So anti-ISIS podcast. I know Jenny's like pro communism. So <laughs> Listen, I think the problem starts with Israel. Oh, and oh, we oh. are like <laughs> <laughs> turn off the recording. Right, actually, hold on. Is 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 Jenny pro communism or pro authoritarianism? Uh, she's just pro Overwatch. I no. Uh, that's that's the cop out. Okay. She's a communist sympathizer. <laughs> she's a communist sympathizer. She thinks they should go into Korea, uh, not Korea. They should go into Hong Kong mm-hmm. and kill. All of those protesters. Oh, she's she's doing, they're doing. They're doing the right job so far. No, no, no. Oh, she says. She, said that. <laughs> she says it needs to be Tiananmen <laughs> Square. Extra- two extrapolating. was her the exact vernacular. I believe. Listen, I, whether she wanted it or not, I, I think it's just going to happen anyways. So. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, we'll see. with, with people with people is, like Jenny on the case. iPhones now. It's a different world. You can't really get away with stuff. I mean, we'll like have that. the clip of like the hot mic when you guys signed off tomorrow. Like that lady that said she had the Epstein story three years earlier. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is that, we'll, we'll hear Jenny say yeah. That was a long hot mic like, clip, too. Yeah, yeah. what do you, what do you, yeah, ha- someone what do you think about Someone was about to stop, and then it was like, what is she saying? And then just like, I'm just going to. Oh, you should have pulled the plug. I want to go on record. I'm very free Hong Kong. Yeah. Also, is it chilly? What a brave <laughs> stance. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Apparently the it is. Of our time. <laughs> Suck it, Blizzard. Yeah. Yeah. Ban us. It's braver. You know, I'll, you give know, you, I'll be t- honest. Tempo store. My my boy Raynad. He picked up Blitz Chung. All right, that's mm-hmm. good. I think though. I think the weirdest reaction to that whole thing was the NBA by far. Uh, I think mean, LeBron. I the worst reaction to it. I get them. Well, having, and like James Harden, you know, all them. It was terrible time because they literally have people in China, right. which I get that. But like the way the NBA just like, mm-hmm. uh, they might as well be a, a communist Chinese organization. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's bad. It's really bad. It was that was like one of the strange things though, the way that they bent over for for China. Mm-hmm. I remember we were talking about it, you're like, so if the NFL did this, would you stop watching the NFL? And I was like, I wish I had an excuse to stop watching the Dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> Fortunately, I don't. I have to just keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's it's an unfortunate situation. Free Hong Kong absolutely need to kill himself. Okay. <laughs> It's gonna be the the metadata of this video. I gotta be hip with the kids. That's what that's what all the kids are talking about is a pedophile killing himself mm. and, mm. and uh, the Chinese government overthrowing. Mm-hmm. Okay, but there's gonna be like an Epstein. <laughs> think there's gonna be like an Epstein uh, bio doc. You know, a hundred percent. Him just like in a suit drinking like some whiskey. I think side. I think it will be like we'll have like Jacob Tremblay playing when he's like forty. 
And like, so okay. like, it'll, be, it'll be a while because yeah. it's like obviously a fucked up story. <laughs> I, I, got, I got very scared when I found out that his his like his uh, I don't know fiance wife who helped him with all this was like hiding out yeah. in Manchester by the sea, mm. Massachusetts. Right. Mm. Uh, just just I don't know how to pronounce her fucking name. It's it's like a, it has way too many letters that shouldn't be in. The, you know when you know the name it has like twelve letters in it and it could do with maybe seven or eight. Right. And it would it would get the point across. Our last name. It's like our last name. Our yeah. last name could be a few. Devil. Yeah. We'll call her Devil. Yeah. Yeah, we have seven like letters in our easy. last name and three are pronounced. It's very nice. Uh-huh. No, I do. Uh, I mean, the Epstein story is like on a real note. It's incredibly fucked up. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's and it's very obvious that there was people higher ups involved. Uh, that poor not, man was murdered in prison. Poor, <laughs> that's what you're oh. saying. <laughs> Not the poor man. Is that what you're trying to say? <laughs> uh, he's very rich. He's very rich? Yeah. A man was murdered. murdered a man prison. was just murdered in prison that... No, but like, I don't know. I guess it was an old guy. You gotta feel sort of bad, right? Oh, fuck you. Yeah. No, I'm kidding, yeah. It's, he's a complete monster. It's crazy that that fucking... That, that blows my mind, the whole ABC suppression like it's, story. It's crazy the extent at which that we've gone to protect the guy, and I don't... Uh, we've gone to protect the guy, but like that's been gone. Yeah. Whoa, well, I haven't done anything to protect him. I saw your GoFundMe. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Brian's, Brian's, uh, Epstein truther. <laughs> F- funding a documentary. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, I could see like a Once Upon a Time in Hollywood style film about Epstein. That could be pretty good. I'm mean, interested. By Tarantino. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, <sighs> oh, boy. I think he'd do a good job. Words. It's just really fucked up, man. They had an island where they fucked kids. That's yeah. horrific. It's That's uh, mm-hmm. real bad. The, the, the part I hate is... With the Israeli flag painted on everything. Oh, Isn't that a little interesting? I'm just... Is that a fact? It is a it huge is fact. It is now. Someone bring it up. we got to bring it up. It's, it's up there. The, the, the crazy part to me is that... If you say it in the podcast, it's true. Yeah. Conservatives it's... on the right were like, oh, it was Hillary. It was Hillary. I'm like, mm. if it was fucking Hillary Clinton, Cool. I'm not going to yeah. defend Hillary Clinton <laughs> backing up uh, Epstein. Like, right. if Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton are involved in, in, in child uh, child enslavement and mm-hmm. them being sold as sex slaves to Jeffrey Epstein, mm-hmm. I hope they got fucking hung in the town square. Like, they act like that was like, like, like Hillary Clinton and, and Bill Clinton are like the gods to, to the to the left. Yeah. Well, to, was, s- to certain people on the left, I think they're, but yeah, they're crazy. Just I think, no, I'm people kidding. Like, I think they're no, no, they're I, crazy it's not, good it's what not they the do. majority opinion. For sure. Just what they do. I think that the greatest greatest power couple ever. They the things that they accomplish. They're mm-hmm. looking to not get murdered by the. Clans. No, I'm just I'm just thinking I'm every, every word I say here carefully. Uh, and no, I think they're just great. I think every politician's great. Every last <laughs> oh, one of them. I remember once upon a time I used to wanted I used to want to be in like I used to want to be in politics like political science. I interned at the Mayor's mm-hmm. office when I was in high school. Right. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is great. And then I eventually got older, and I was like. Oh, these all these people are fucking full of shit and have right. none of our interests in mind. Oh. I'd be in like a parks department, like on Parks and Rec. I yep. assume it's the same, right? Yep. Mm. Uh, not real politics, no. Definitely not. Yeah, it mm. just it just seems like it. It seems like a for sociopaths who you know crave power, right? Mm. So it is now. I remember Always Sunny in Philadelphia. They said that. So many people, and I guess Great I'm using show. Always Sunny as my my reference, mm-hmm. when they they say that the people running for whatever the comp controller, that they run purposely so they'll get a buyout from the richest person running, <laughs> and that's their plan. That's the only reason they're running. Like all these people that are running for president, that's probably all they're in it for. Oh yeah, like yeah. Beto O'Rourke. Beto O'Rourke wasn't winning. Wasn't getting the presidency. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fucking Michael Bloomberg, who's like the richest person on, on earth, he's not getting the presidency. Right, yeah. Although there's like a new push for him to buy Fox News, that would be pretty interesting. He's backed by Bezos. Backed by Bezos, yeah. yeah. Bezos. Jeffrey. Love Jeffrey Bezos. The Amazon guy. I know, I'm a big, big fan of Jeffrey <laughs> Bezos. His wife, he's the wife best. does Richard Sin now, though, so we should talk yeah. about uh, I don't yeah. know the surname. We'll call him Marjorie Bezos. Gender oh. equality has been achieved. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yep. I think it's McKenzie, but yeah. McKenzie. Yeah, yes, McKenzie. McKenzie Bezos. Yeah, yeah I mean, he, like, you knew once Jeff Bezos got rich and Jack, he was going to send his, a picture of his dick to someone, mm-hmm. and that was going to come out. Everyone yeah. I mean, I was banking gonna, on it. That's what you everyone do. knew that was going to happen. That's what you do. That's what you do when you're up top. The second you became, like, it's lonely when you're on top and, and got no one to see somewhat you. attractive. You're like, this guy's gonna fucking cheat on his wife. Yeah, yeah. for sure. I mean, they're they're like fuck boys with eleven dollars in the bank. You mm-hmm. do it, so yeah. So it was, it was there was no chance. As someone with eleven dollars in the bank, I'm just glad that my fiance has sex with me at least twice. <laughs> right. She's had, at least twice, I have proof with two kids. So hell yeah. Cheers. Drink I mean, uh, yes. necessarily. Yeah. 
This in vitro I fertil- haven't had a fertilization. DNA test done. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, in vitro. That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. The other kid eats like me. I don't know if that's just <laughs> nature versus. That's nurture, usually a good basis. That's usually. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I, I have that going for me. Mm-hmm. Nice. Congratulations. Thank oh, you. Man. Thank you. Oh, this uh, like. What was that like? I guess like eating batteries. Is that what we're doing in this episode? Uh, this that's later. This quarter is like eating batteries. We're eating batteries. All right. Let's. Uh, all right. We got six of these bad boys. Yeah. Okay. Ben. Okay, we're not. We're not what? actually eating. Bad. Do you have any questions for Dylan? <laughs> yes. Yeah, so now that we've covered the Middle East, mm-hmm. Jeffrey Epstein, the Clintons, Trump. Uh, I can't wait to commit the, suicide next week. The Killing Joke. Interesting. <laughs> Definitely don't put these as like tags. Dylan, uh, what is? Let me suppress real quick. What is your favorite movie? Uh, so I will not give an answer like Tamora did, only because I, I didn't go to film school. Mm-hmm. You will give an answer so that you aren't giving an answer like Tamora. I can't give an exact one, but I can probably give you like a top five. Okay, give me so, a top five. First and foremost, Pulp Fiction. Good. I, it, that's probably closest to my number one. Interstellar. Mm-hmm. Inception. Yep. The Dark Knight. What do we have for? Yep. Von Nolan. He's the, he's the Stanley so, Kubrick of our time, you know? Once upon, a to- once upon a Time in Hollywood that came out this year, I really, mm. really liked. Really? I really liked I, I saw. I thought it was great. But... I saw it three times in the movie theaters, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. That's, that's probably that's, awesome. That's probably Borderline <laughs> 5, but I, 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 really, I really enjoy... There's like three. So Empire Strikes Back, which is obviously what we were joking about earlier before we came on the, came on the pod. But probably Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade to kind of just throw you for a loop for a different. I like the Last Crusade. I actually really really enjoy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially with Sean Connery and then the whole them in Nazi Germany and all that. I really like. So I'll, I'll put that as five. Mm-hmm. Now the only one I ever saw was Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, and I just thought that was a master really? class. That's the only one you ever saw I have, of I have, cinema. I have, How did that happen? We grew a, up in the same house. I have a big treat for you. There are <laughs> three other movies that it was somehow better than that. Movie. No, no, that movie was that movie was good, and I wanted to be so like, this is, this is my Indiana Jones. I just love Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf, mm-hmm. Mutt Williams, or whatever his name is. I think so. Yeah, it was good. It it's was like a big a greaser, thing. Right? Can't confirm his name is Mutt. I know that for sure. Yeah, it was uh good. It was just great. Well paced. The direction was awesome. The ending with the aliens. It's genius. Mm-hmm. I do like the whole Loved scene it. where he's in he's in like the 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 test town of the nuclear weapon. Oh, and he hid in the fridge? That's so a, smart, man. It makes a lot of sense. It would have worked. Mm-hmm. That's what I, I don't know why done. Bin Laden so should have in a fridge. Bin Laden should have hid in a fridge. He should have hid in alive. your fridge. He'd still be alive. He should have hid in your fridge in your basement. <laughs> it, was, it was close. Yeah, it was. You, uh, you guys played Fallout 3? Yes. Yes. Uh, in Fallout 3, there's a skeleton in a fridge like that with the Brian like you Indiana fucking Jones. idiot that's Fallout New Vegas it's outside of Novak you really fucking awkward. moron I hate to call you a fucking it's not idiot. Novak actually it's uh, it's it's the first starting town bro are you serious you gotta have the wacky wastelander perk on this is so <laughs> embarrassing it's so fucking embarrassing unbelievable this is why I don't oh have a God. video game podcast anymore oh, yeah it's Jesus taken away from thank me. God <laughs> sorry go on though tell him, tell him <laughs> uh, so in Fallout New Vegas <laughs> There's a uh, Indiana Jones uh, like skeleton in a uh, mm. refrigerator. Quick, real quick, top mm. five fallouts. Um, Is there five? There's five. Fallouts. What the fuck? There's like, <laughs> <laughs> there are five fallouts coming in at number five. Fallout seventy six. I think fallout is the only 76. is, the, is the, <laughs> only, the only good fallout. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, there's six maybe. Never played Fallout one, one two, two, and Tactics three, New Vegas and seventy six. Can't confirm. I did not play. And there's also a Brotherhood of Steel game. Is there a brother? I only have uh, Fallout 1, 2, 3 tactics um, and 3. Obviously. I guess a bigger question in Fallout New Vegas. Who'd you side with at the end? Who'd you fight with? New Vegas? Uh, I did Independent Vegas with a Yes Man, I think. And I then. Think, I think I. No, I, the NCR. I sided with the NCR the first time because I, I thought it was. It sort of made sense, I guess. I sided with the Romans. Really? You're a psycho. <laughs> yeah, that's like the group you shouldn't. Si- they fucking behead people. They oh, fucking, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, that was the coolest part. Oh, they crucify people. I was everywhere. like, I think these guys can get Bin Laden in my closet. <laughs> <laughs> well, You're that's. Hoping. You're hoping that makes, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense to me, I guess. I, I, I sided with them, and I think the second time I went with the NCR. Mm. Yeah. I never finished it. Yeah. Clearly. Uh, <laughs> I was not that into games at the time that it came out. No. Not as much as I am now. Um, really liking Outer Worlds, though. Speaking of Outer Worlds is very Vegas. good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just started it. Yeah, but like, I've, been, I've been playing the new fucking Call of Duty, man. Oh, it's, Dylan has two. Holy fuck. That shit's well, good. 
That shit's good. You that joked shit. about in the last podcast of you guys uh, committing war crimes. I 100% agree. Uh-huh. When you go into that level and you're clearing room to room, I, I unfortunately willingly shot the woman. With wow. the baby? And I, I learned that uh, oh, no. Price picks up the baby and puts it in the crib. Puts it in the crib. Price is a nice guy. I didn't want it's to. He's a good dude. I didn't want to do it. I, think I, I don't think I did. I think I was. I, I had heard that you gotta just be. Your, I don't know. I took it slow. I also broke all the AI, so it was easy. Okay. Yeah, how'd you break the AI? Uh, if you die six hundred times <laughs> in a level, the AI eventually just... stops working. It doesn't recognize you as like a threat anymore. <laughs> Did you complete the campaign? Yeah, I, I died a lot it's of a times. It's a good campaign, right? It is. It's quick. Yeah, it was good. It was the first campaign for or story mode for a game that I completed since Red Dead. Yeah, and so now, now I'm in, now I'm in Outer Worlds. I, yeah, I like Outer Worlds a lot. It's good. Yeah. It, 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 it does bring you back to like speaking of New Vegas. It, it, I feel like I'm playing New Vegas in terms mm. of just like it's fun and it's open. I've I been like doing all sides. You can kind of choose how you play. Like I've been playing it really like run and gun, like just shooting people. And, mm-hmm. But uh, you don't have to play that way at all. Like, my original goal, so I named my guy Rasputin, was to play him with Rasputin. Good. Right. And the clue was. You have, like, no sexual interest in the game. Mm-hmm. So... What the fuck is the point? Okay. I'm hooking everyone else up, and my guy Rasputin is getting laid. And the, wow. the background for my guy Rasputin, if he's, like, the real Rasputin, he has, like, a 12-foot hog. 12-inch, whatever. I've seen it in a jar, pickled, Which, according to the internet. Wow, yes. you guys. And I didn't know this. I didn't know any of this. You didn't know That's this pretty hot. Supposedly Rasputin's dick. Oh, he jar. was... Yeah, dude, he was... He kind of like a horse. Monster fucking dick. He had oh. a hammer. Yeah. Congratulations. So, like, the last podcast on the left, the series they did on Rasputin was one of the funniest fucking things. Yeah, it's really good. Heard. Good to know. But, yeah, so... I got a lot of Googling to do later. No, so I tried to play it like Rasputin, and then uh, I can't have sex with anybody, which is all mm-hmm. Rasputin did. Mm-hmm. So I, I now just play it as like a normal person. But. Yeah, just regular... It's really, it's really fun. If you guys are interested, check it out. Uh, Can't any, bone anybody, so I don't have any idea why you would. There is no point. Any interest in Death yeah. Stranding? No, Either. fucking after, Jesus. After, are you serious? After the reviews, I, I mean, I was. So the, I love Kojima, but after the reviews, I'm very like, I'm very like 50-50 on it. Mm. Like a Black Friday $20 shirt. Yeah, show, I was going to say, but I'm going to wait until like Christmas. That seems like a game through. through. Like, like, I have enough issues in my life. I feel like I play that game. Dude, you deliver packages. I can Why? barely walk myself. How like, little respect does the guy game. have for you guys? Like, this is people's uh, time. He's like, yo, they're just going to move packages and it's going to be a nuisance. It's going to be hard. Mm-hmm. But it's, a, it's, it's the future of civilization. Yeah, I want to I wanna find out what the Death Stranding is. My, my confusion is, like, wow. how did we get to that point, like, to that level of technology without automating delivery? Okay. We're, we're basically at this point like 10 years away from automating delivery. Well, I th- yeah, I think uh, Less, I, I think they probably did have it, mm. but then the Death Stranding happened, and <sighs> now everything's fucked. I'm, I mean, robots have got to be smarter than people. Also, a, a, a Kojima <laughs> game where you just play a, 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 a remote-controlled dr- uh, drone mm-hmm. delivering packages, I'd play that. Yeah, I'd play that too. Yeah. <laughs> I do like I did like Metal Gear Five a lot. I played it up until the first ending, and then Mm -hmm. I stopped playing it. Is that that's not the newest one? That's like the no, it's the newest one. The newest good one. Then there was Survive. The Survive. The Metal Gear Solid Five. The Phantom Pain, and then Metal Gear Solid uh, Survive came out. I forgot about Survive. Oh my god, that looks so bad. That was the one. That was the first one without Kojima. Yeah, Yeah. uh, the original Metal. I shouldn't say the original. I think it was the the Metal Gear game on PlayStation One is my uh, all time favorite video game. Yeah. I played it. I, ha- I have a PlayStation Three still, and the only game I have on there that was digitally downloaded is Metal Gear. That I, that's the only reason I can still play it. I have. Yeah. The nice thing about the Vita TV is you can download PlayStation One classics, which is neat. Um, I remember when the trailer for Metal Gear Survive came out. I like texted Liam. I was like, "That looks really good." Liam was like, "Fuck yourself." Yeah. <laughs> I agree. That's that's uh, that get, one, could you not be involved? No, thank you. The second, that game just looked fucking terrible. Oh. That's why I said it. I knew it would make like It that. was a total cash. It was a to- Yeah, I was really upset. I was really upset with you. I was like, you fucking disrespectful little cunt. You have no idea. <laughs> and it you came have no out, fucking idea. It came out like, what, a year after Metal Gear 5? so soon after. It was after. like immediately yeah. after. I yeah. thought it was like a DLC. Yeah, it was a uh, trash. It was a fucking complete. Let's ta- talk about something else. It's not. No Is there need. anything you want to touch on on the podcast? 
No, I mean we have a lot going on. We, we uh, as we discussed, we have we have our episode for Jojo Rabbit coming out this week. We yeah, have, coming out at the time of recording tomorrow, but it'll be out before this podcast comes out. Jojo Rabbit, very good. Speaking of Bin Laden, yeah, it's, it's really good. Terrible people in, in history. And then we, as we discussed, we have Rick and Morty on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. We have the Mandalorian, which will come out on Wednesday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We have another Mandalorian, which will come out on Friday. Right. Oh, is that the Disney Plus? Disney Plus. Yes. Yeah, mm-hmm. really. Interesting. So okay. this is a pretty yeah. big week for and, uh, the channel, not just the, not just that show. The I know this is a pretty uh, bad week for my sleep schedule. Mm. I'm saying that. So because uh, I'm also going to be streaming Pokemon, um, let's go Pikachu on Monday and Wednesday, and then also streaming Pokemon Sword with Ryan off screen oh, yeah. on Friday. So uh, I'm not going to sleep this week. Period. No, nice. uh, kind of. I told you, I I, I want to learn to. I, I want to be able to develop to edit on mm. uh, Premiere so I can help you out. But yeah, no, kudos to you for all the work you do. Hey man, I like doing it. It's a lot of fun, mm-hmm. and uh, hoping it will like eventually pay off for us, and we'll eventually, you know, get a Patreon that's crazily funded. I will say, I uh, I've enjoyed millions of dollars a month. Mm-hmm. I've enjoyed your guys' past two episodes. Of better radio. Like Robin was very good. Mm, yeah, that incredible. was hands yeah. down our best episode. Yeah, easily, that was like, that was Robin made. Uh, Tamar was good, and start. you turned the tables on him. All of a sudden, turning him into a porn director was very fun to me. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. So, I uh, thank you. I thought about it. And I thought about it. Orchestrated the whole thing. It was all my <laughs> doing. So the, thank you. The Robin episode very good. How many how many how many times have you done stand up now? Kind of lost count, which is a piece of shit uh, thing to do. I kept really good track i probably would have I don't, I don't know do you how many times i've been on stage 60 maybe no probably 70 or 80 so when did you, when did you start has anyone ever asked you about you uh no <laughs> no no not the point of this show buddy not the point of this What's show the buddy what the fuck is he doing brian i don't no, like no, this, uh, this wasn't I, in the script this was, like that. uh no i'm fucking around uh yeah i think probably like 70 or 80 times now maybe probably maybe more i lost count around mm-hmm. 50 or 60 and that was probably over the summer and i do hit the sauce pretty hard it's good stuff <laughs> do you still get nervous when you're on stage no definitely not see the, i just had i did a thing on friday this week it's just not what you're in for and also dude you're you're now at a point where like if things go really bad i can fall back on shit and i can get through my set with jokes mm-hmm. i have that i know will work so I don't really stress about trying new things because something doesn't work. I can segue into something that will, and it's not. Right. And now I am able to. I feel like I'm getting more material because I'm I'm more willing to be weird. I think I'm just right. willing to go out there and be you more can, myself. I you guess you can use Bin Laden hiding in a child's closet. That's good. Yeah, that's a that's a good. I don't know how I could. Uh, that's good. I think nine eleven. <sighs> Uh, was Not something that we deserved and needed as a country, <laughs> and I agreed. Think <laughs> we're only ever gonna be uh, one again is if something like that happens again. Unfortunately, I can't say. Are you saying we forgot nine eleven? Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't we agree. Told explicitly to never forget nine yeah, eleven. Yeah, Dick Cheney agreed that the Patriot Act was necessary. Mm. Dick Cheney uh, was a really, he was a go-getter. He was a real go-getter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he definitely yeah. was. Yeah. He should have died. Like he's he's not dead, we Which, should say. But, uh, <laughs> it's also a throwback to the movie Vice. Mm. He might be by the time this comes out. I mean, Maybe. Vice is an One okay movie. Christian Bale, very good in that movie. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, uh, don't cut me off. Uh, <laughs> I've, uh, yeah. I, I, I thought, I don't know where we left it. Sorry, I, I kind of got off topic there. I said you can use Bin Laden as a... As a bit, and I was trying to think of something funny to do with it. I could probably talk about... Uh, I was kind of... Yeah, I had a really good dad thing going on. I feel like it would be... Mm. Like the dad body. You know, I think this generation... Wait, what? You know they like... You know how <laughs> they made... Right. I thought you meant like... You, yeah, yeah, but you know how they like made... Hold on. Hear, me out, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. You know how we... You know... <laughs> just hold on. You know how we uh, made the... That marathon bomber, that sexy boy, uh, like a thing. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sexy boy. I feel like Bin Laden would be like the dad of this generation. I feel like there'd be people that'd be like, "Oh, you kind of." It'd be it. like daddy. On yeah, Twitter. for sure, for Red sure. Daddy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is daddy? That. Yeah, that's the only thing I can think of that would be funny. Yeah, I guess. Maybe, as, maybe as an old dirty grandpa. 
mm-hmm. that lives in child's closets. It's for somebody, bro. They got pervy on Everybody is somebody's everything. Did anyone else have a Tumblr in the mid-2010s? No. Wow. No, I'm not a furry. Tell you. Only for the furry. <laughs> <laughs> Only for the furry. I didn't have, I just had it for regular stuff um, and get it, complaining about getting my memes stolen, uh, as, as you guys have seen. Uh-huh. But uh, there's a, there's like a legit like hero worship, like serial killer. Like we like serial killer podcasts and stuff. There are like people, there were people on Tumblr who were like, I want to fuck Jeffrey Dahmer's face. Like uh. that's. Oh, so you saw, you saw my comment. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like, all right, I'm gonna come clean. I did have a tumbler. It was, it was that one. Takes another shirt off. It's <laughs> yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer's face. <laughs> like, I'm just I a big fan. Fuck his uh, face. Uh-huh. Yeah. No, for, I mean, his yeah. screwed head. Yeah. Kind of like his, like the sexy boy Joe Carson and I have. Mm. That was very like. That was very weird. That's very inappropriate of Rolling Stone to do. Yeah, no, and I was that guy's a fucking. They're all, all monsters. I don't obviously condone anything that I was just trying to think of, trying to find some humor. In, mm-hmm. uh, That's all we can. And that his jacket. Do you think he? I think it smelled. What did it smell? I don't know if he was in caves what, like all the time. Cologne. Oh, yeah. oh who, who are we talking about? Cheney. Uh, I'm talking. Joe Hart, Zernayev, or Bin Laden. All three. They all probably. What was I don't sense. think he was really in a cave. I think he was just. In I know that was that's a, that's the thing, right? Yeah. All right. No, sorry. Not, he was he was like he had like a, a, a get off facility with like a harem, didn't yeah. he? Yeah. He yeah. Uh, I don't know he if he had, had a, a cave harem. Set. First of all, yeah. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know if he had a harem. That's that's some I mean, pretty heinous allegations you're throwing around, buddy. Uh, watch yourself. You know, I don't know. He may he I, may or may not have had a harem in between his terrorism meetings. Yeah. You asked me, do I think Bin Laden smelt? Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. I meant the jet. The, like, is well, like, do you think you could sell that scent? He's like, what is it like to people who want to? Like, yeah, get you get it. He's it. Brian's getting with it. Wow. So I think that might be a good place to end. You think so? <laughs> I think that'd be that that could be a good line, just like uh, serial killer and terrorist. Like, what would the sense. I don't know. Um. Hmm. The bomb? I don't know. Something. I don't know. Something. Something better than like. I don't know. The. Just the Patriot Act. Got a good. Got a good. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's not bad. Mm-hmm. That's His not face bad. on it. I mean, Smiling, just uh, like Simon Naja's show something. is getting canceled, right? So that that like uh, mm-hmm. copyright's probably opening up. Right. Mm. One night in a small Pakistani town. <laughs> that, that, that's that's on the commercial. Oh, man. I already see it. Mm-hmm. Oh boy. Not a lot of funny <laughs> to be found there, though, unfortunately. Zero dark I was trying to, mm. trying to go for Zero it. Zero dark hurt me. Wow. Mm. Mm. Well, that, that's the uh, that's mm. the BDSM porn, right? <laughs> of, uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Very Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Anyways. Dylan, anything else you want to talk about before we sign off of this episode and come immediately back for Ben's episode? No, I can do this for hours. This is very fun. Yeah, I this is a good time. Back. Yeah, no, so... You know what? You should come back on the next episode. I, I'll, I'll, this is my show now. Yeah. <laughs> so sure. Uh, no, no, it was a lot of fun. We're gonna have we're gonna have Liam on on Wicked Good Show. Mm-hmm. I'm all on. Uh, ben, you're welcome to come. Well, Ben is now officially. Well, Ben's a Wicked part of the show. team now. Yeah. So good show. He'll be on. No, and then as we discussed, we'll maybe do a commentary of the room. We're gonna do something. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do D and D at some point. Whenever oh I stop my god, being lazy I'm so excited for it. this. Yeah. Uh, Ryan, you want to help us write D and D? Yeah. Yeah. Other than that, no, uh, oh, shut, shut up, Brian Wong. Shut up, Brian Wong. Thank you for still listening. This shut up, Brian Wong. I don't know why he wouldn't be. This is free content. We've been talking about just very family friendly topics. So. The whole way through. This is the kind of thing that you put on for your seven year old to teach them about the world. I did yeah. tell my daughter that daddy was going to be on TV today, so I can't wait to show her this episode uh, in a few years when we're talking about Epstein and. Open modern and gonna change. age really well. Mm-hmm. And, and, yep. It definitely is. Yeah. I I think that 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 what's his name will make a comeback by then. Kevin Spacey. Epstein. <laughs> oh, yeah, Kevin Hank Spacey. Farmer, I, don't, I do not think that Epstein will make a comeback. <laughs> mm. Oh man! All right, guys. Thank you so much for checking out this episode of Better Radio. If you're interested in subscribing, make sure you check us out on YouTube at youtube.com slash forget everything on Twitch at twitch.tv slash forget everything. I hope that uh, we'll be streaming some more. Coming out soon, of course. This channel is a wicked good podcast. We don't have 100 subscribers yet. You can help by telling your friends and family about the awesome stuff we have going on. And we're on iTunes. Leave, leave us a rating. Subscribe to Wicked Good Show. If you too thought Ben Laden was hiding in your closet, subscribe to the show. Yeah, definitely. Comment, comment down, down below. You're not, you're not yeah. alone. 
You're not. I, yeah, I'm glad you're you're helping people out with that, and letting them come clean about this. All time we face our fears. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening, and have a great rest of your day.